Hi, and welcome to our video for 3.3b, Conversion Problems Continued. So we're going to do a few more today. All right, so we're going to talk here about converting between units, from one kind of a unit to the other. Kind of a review for yesterday, but we'll kind of get a little more complex as we go along. So converting between units is easily solved using dimensional analysis. You don't have to think anymore, do I multiply or do I divide? Because if you follow these steps, it'll really be a piece of cake. Okay, so we're going to convert 4.6 milligrams to grams. You don't have to argue, you don't have to think, do I multiply, do I divide? Because by the time you set it up, it's a piece of cake. All right, so right over here, 4.6 milligrams, and all the way over here equals a certain number of grams. What you want over what you got. And all right, so grams to milligrams. And we think, how many milligrams in a gram? Well, there's 1,000 milligrams is equal to one gram. So you put the 1,000 with the milligrams, the one with the gram. We'll see here, our milligrams will cancel. And we can see here that we have to divide 4.6 divided by 1,000 which is going to be 0 0.0046, or if we're going to do scientific notation, 4.6 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3. Okay. Next one. Suppose a lab experiment requires 7.5 decigrams of magnesium per student for 100 students. How many grams of magnesium, Mg's magnesium, are needed? Okay, so here we're going to have a couple of little steps because we're told right up front that it's 7.5 decigrams per student. Anytime we say per, we put the line over. So decigrams per student is written out mathematically just like that. And we have 100 students, so we're going to multiply that times 100 students. All right, and we see here our students cancel, and we have 7.5 times 100, which is 750 decigrams that we need to start with. All right, there's an extra little trick in there for you. All right, so now we can set up our problem the way we've been doing. Seven 50 dg decigrams is going to be equal to how many grams? Well, we do what you want over what you got. So we say grams over decigrams, and it's one gram is equal to 10. Come on, computer. Cooperate. There we go. One gram, 10 decigrams, one gram. 10 decigrams, these will cancel, and we end up with 750 divided by 10 is equal to 75 grams. Want to do some more? Well, we're going to anyway. Okay, so let's say we're going to convert 15 cubic centimeters to liters. Well, there's a couple of things we have to know here. One, we have to know that one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. That's by definition. That's how they actually defined the milliliter as being one cubic centimeter of water is one milliliter. And we have to know then that there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. Okay, so we start off the same as we've always been doing, right? 15 cm cubed over here equals a certain number of liters. Okay, so can we go right from cubic centimeters to liters? Well, not quite. So first we have to convert it to milliliters. So what do we want? Milliliters. What do we got? Cubic centimeters. What do we put? One in front of each. So that's a nice easy one. We're just changing our unit. So when we cancel that, we have milliliters. But we want liters. So we do, what do you want? Over, what do you got? 1,000 milliliters. So 1,000 goes with the milliliters. 
one goes with the leaders. We see that our milliliters will cancel. And we end up plugging into our handy dandy calculator and get 0 0.15 liters. All right, let's do another one. All right, see if you can set this one up yourself, but I'll give you a couple of uh, little pieces of info that you're going to need. Actually, just one. So one gram is equal to 10 to the ninth micrograms. Because micrograms is that mu, we learned, G. All right, see if you can set this one up. All right, let's see how you did 94.5 grams is equal to some number micrograms. So we do what you want over what you got. And it's one gram is 10 to the ninth micrograms. Okay. You can do it however you need to, plug it into a calculator, do it in your head. But we end up with 94.5 times 10 to the ninth, which becomes 9.45 point times 10 to the tenth micrograms. All done? Nope. All right. Here's another one. Sometimes, as you saw on the slide before, you might need more than one conversion factor when you can't go directly from one thing to on the next one. So let's say you're going to convert 0 0.73 centimeters to microns or micrometers, right? You don't necessarily know exactly how many microns are in a centimeter, but we know how many centimeters are in a meter, right? How many centimeters? 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. And then we also know that there are 10 to the ninth microns in one meter. So first we'll convert it to meters and then we'll convert it down to microns. So like always, see if you can set this one up. There's two steps and then we'll see how you did. All right, here goes. We have 0 0.073 centimeters and all the way over here, micrometers. So first we got to convert to meters. So it's what you want. Meters over what you got. Centimeters. And then from meters, we're going to be able to convert it to micrometers. So we're going to do what you want over what you got. All right, let's figure out our numbers. So there's one meter to 100 centimeters. So it's one meter to 100 centimeters. There's 10 to the ninth microns to one meter. 10 to the ninth to one. Let's check out our units. Centimeters, centimeters, meters meters. Awesome. Oh, I forgot to leave my little line here, so I'll write it above. Cheat a little there. So it's 0 0.073 divided by 100 times 10 to the ninth. Plug that into your handy-dandy calculator, and you end up with 7.3 times 10 to the fifth. All right, we'll do one more for today. And here, we're going to convert 45.4 centimeters to miles. Hmm, I wonder where I came up with that idea. Well, we know how many centimeters are in one meter. That's 100. We know how many meters are in a kilometer. That's 1,000 meters is equal to 1 km. And we know how many miles are in one kilometer, or either way, it's 0 0.6 miles is equal to 1 km. So we're going to have a three-stepper here. So we have 45.4 cm is going to be equal to some amount of miles. All right, I've got to be careful here to not write too big. So first thing, I want to go from centimeters to meters because I don't know exactly off the top of my head how many centimeters are a kilometer. So what you want, meters over what you got, centimeters. So that'll help me get rid of my centimeters. So I know meters to kilometers. So what do you want? Km over how many meters? That'll leave me with kilometers. And I know how many miles per kilometer. All right, let's plug in my numbers. One meter, 100 centimeters, one, 
100, 1,000 meters in one kilometer, and 0 0.6 miles to one kilometer. All right, let's see how we do with my units. Centimeters cancel, meters cancel, kilometers cancel, and I'm going to be left with some number, miles. Excellent. That's what I want. So now I can plug into my calculator 45.4 divided by 100. Then that answer divided again by 1,000, and that answer times 0 0.6, and I'm going to end up with 2.72 times 10 to the negative 4 miles. All right, as always, feel free to rewind it and go over it again. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask in class tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, and uh, see you guys in school.